Thursdays, as everyone probably knows by now, the time we set aside, we bring in members of the medical community. Today, we have Dr. William Bowles with New Hanover Regional Medical Center's uh, neurology group there. We're talking this morning about epilepsy. Uh, we were kind of talking during the break. I, I have a dog that has seizures, and I was asking the doctor about medicines and this and that. But one thing I want to ask you now is, uh, with my dog, there, there's no presentation. It just happens. There's, to me, there's no onset that I can see. Is it the same with humans that they just come on? There's no real telltale sign of when they happen? It can happen that way, yes. So uh, some people have what's called an aura. They get a warning sign, and that may be a, an odd sensation. Uh, sometimes it's a, like they're a sensation in their stomach that's rising, uh, maybe a feeling of uh, fear, doom, or they maybe uh, have a heart palpitation. But in general, uh, there's a large percentage of, pe of people who do not have any kind of warning signs, and it's just like a, a, a switch flipping. They have the seizure. It's uh, abnormal brain activity, and it... Uh, just begin spontaneous. Do we know the root cause of what brings these on in people? Like, you know, right. looking at the, the 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 research, there's no there's no real you know it's not gender specific, it's not age specific. Mm -hmm. Do we know the root cause of these? Well, we do in some cases. Somewhere around uh, 60 to 70 percent of people, are, though, we do not have an answer for why they begin to have seizures. Uh, other people, it can be uh, secondary to having a stroke or brain injury, uh, something like that. Uh, there are genetic disorders as well that we can identify, but like I say, 60 to 70 percent of people we do not identify cause. The right. good thing, though, in the most cases, they're they're mm -hmm. very treatable, correct? That's true. Uh, and again, we're about the same number. About 60 to 70 percent of people are controlled on one medicine. You can get another 10 to 15 percent of people controlled on two to three medicines total. Um, and another thing I would say is, you know, when it comes to seizures, there are some seizures that are unprovoked. That's that number I was talking about: 60 to 70 percent of people unknown cause. There are also provoked seizures where people can have a fever, like a brain infection, and that can cause a seizure. And that's not epilepsy. Uh, the unprovoked seizures are epilepsy. Okay. And as far as, I don't want to, I don't want to say when do you know you have a problem because obviously if you have a seizure, there's something mm -hmm. that, that runs a little wrong. But in, in a person that is epileptic, are we talking multiple times throughout a year? Could it just be one time a year that, that, that mm -hmm. to where they do have this under control? Right, yes. Yeah. Seizure frequency varies you know, greatly, just like many other conditions it would. Uh, and so some people may only have two seizures in their lifetime and are you know, very well controlled on medicines. Other people are much more difficult, to, and this is more kind of the rare case, but much more difficult to control, can have even daily seizures. And, so, and there's a variation in seizures in terms of length and duration, intensity. So some people may have you know, 10, 10 second seizures a sure. day, whereas other people may have a three, three minute seizure once a month. Yeah. So, and, and again, yeah. as the doctor pointed out, at, at least it is somewhat controllable. And mm -hmm. always, the last thing I always say in this, if you have this symptom, anything, you, do, you don't email me or call me. Always always go to the doctor. I always joke, they, they give you the white coat, I get the blue one. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm not as smart. Doctor, yeah. I appreciate the time. All right, thanks. We're back Thank with us. more after this.